Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is loyal. Loyal. Now, as we continue on in Proverbs, and there's a lot of different things to be said about friends and foes and, and even those who are closest to us. And, and here at the end of Proverbs 18, uh, there's a proverb there in verse 24 uh, that we use a lot and, and have applied quite often to Jesus Christ. And you hear it and it says this, it says in the New King James, it says, a man who has friends must himself be friendly. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Now, today, the reason I said that was a New King James, because I also want to read the New American Standard, and I want you to hear what it says there. It says, a man of too many friends comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Now, you see those, you hear those two translations, and it comes down to uh, the way different commentators will look at the way that the Hebrew is put together. Both are true, so we don't need to get hung up and, and get into a, a, a deep um, discussion about that portion of it. Um, and But the thing is this, if, it, if it's either way, if you have a lot of friends, then you yourself must be friendly to others. Now, that part is true, but where a lot of commentators agree that the, the ruin is uh, maybe a better translation, if you want to look at it that way, then it, it's something that we need to be careful of having a lot of friends. Because that's that's the at the end of the day, that's what it's talking about. The first half is talking about if you have a lot of friends. Now, you know how Proverbs does. It gives us a contradictions or it says, you know, hey, this is wise, this is foolish, and back and forth like that. So this is saying, okay, well, there is a friend. The second part, there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So what would the opposite of that be? The opposite of that would be a lot of friends that maybe because you are friendly, you've you've made a lot of friends, but that can lead to your own ruin and your own destruction. So that's where we can see the the two translations are, are really not that far apart. Now, the reason that that would be, you think about it, we see this in our society today. If you have a lot of friends, you may enjoy that for the moment. But they may be just around kind of like the prodigal son. And, you know, you go out and he had all those all his friends, right, when he was living his wild and crazy and free life. But when the money ran out, so did the friends. Kind of the same thing that we have in our society, right? When somebody hits the lottery, all of a sudden they have friends that come out from everywhere. But then when the money's gone, so are the friends. You may have experienced the same thing in your life. Maybe at a position you had at your job that all of a sudden, uh, if you came into some power or a, a position of prestige of some sort, then then all of a sudden you had this all, all new group of friends. But then when you really need something or when you're gone from that company, then they're not really your friends. That's why what we really need to do is focus in on having just a handful of very close friends that you can count on. And that's why the second half of the verse is saying, look, because you can have a friend that would stick closer to you than even family would, right? We, we've all seen or experienced times where maybe family members aren't as close to you as you thought that they would be. And maybe somebody that you thought would stand by you in, in a difficult time that was blood relative, maybe they kind of stepped off to the side, but yet your your best friend or or that friend that's been right there beside you through thick and thin, they were still there. Now, yes, well, I told you, we use this verse all the time to, to, to point ourselves, to look to Jesus. And absolutely, there is a friend that sticks closer than, than a brother. And he was that, he is and was that friend that laid down his life for his friends. He himself was very friendly in that, in that matter of speaking. But you also notice he was called the friend of sinners. But if we really think about it, who did Jesus? Jesus didn't have a, a very large group, right? I mean, yes, he had a following, but you think about even just the 12 disciples and then even the, the innermost three there of Peter, James and John that were the kind of the, the closer group with Jesus. You, you think about it, even among his 12 friends, if you want to say that. One of them was Judas who betrayed him. And if we're not careful, right, we will forget about the importance of loyalty, even as we're being friends, 
Uh, a lot of times we think about how others have affected us. But today, what are you doing to be loyal to your friends? Are you being that brother or that sister? Are you being that friend that sticks closer than a brother or a sister? You know, that kind of gets back to the first part. Is we need to be friendly ourselves. But not just friendly, not just in a personality and not just in a bubbly, happy, kind of joyful way, even though that's part of it. Now, today we need to be loyal. We need to be sticking with our word. You think about having friends that you can count on. And today, thank God for the friends that you can count on. And then maybe you should ask, God, am I one of those friends that others can count on? That's a good question for us to think about today. God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.